So in this section, we are going to discuss on how to start dairy farming. And there are a number of things that need to be considered for any smallholder farmer or for any farmer who want to start or to venture into a dairy farming. The first thing is that a farmer needs to plan. A farmer has to draw up a good business plan on what they need to achieve and within which uh, period of time for them or before they start uh, dairy farming. Uh, planning is very important because it will enable the farmer establish the objectives and also draw up a plan on how they are going to achieve uh, the expected uh, targets. The other thing is capital. For any business, just like um, other businesses, dairy farming requires capital. A farmer needs to get enough resources. Um, there should be a plan on where to get enough resources from savings, uh, through loans, and through other uh, sources of income to enable the farm adequately address all the needs while setting up uh, a dairy farm. And remember, uh, a farmer will need to have enough land that will hold the expected or the targeted number of animals they need to raise. A farmer should also have an adequate resources to set up uh, farm structures, uh, to establish uh, feed resources, and also to be able to buy the animals. It is important that the farmer uh, ensures that we have adequate resources available for him to start a dairy farming business. The other thing is that a farmer needs to do a market survey and establish who are the uh, potential uh, sources of uh, market for the milk. The farmer should be able to know once uh, there's milk that has been produced on the farm to identify where they'll sell the animals, uh, the, the, the milk, as well as where they'll sell the animals if they are uh, uh, planning to sell heifers uh, from the farm. A farmer also needs to identify that uh, the workforce required to carry out the uh, operations of the farm. A farmer needs to consider uh, whether they have enough human capacity and enough uh, labor on the farm to be able to uh, enable the operations of the farm to carry on effectively. The other thing is that the farmer needs to have the animals. A farmer should be able to select good animals that should be able uh, that she should be able to start with. A farmer needs to identify a number of sources of animals and be able to make inquiries about the best uh, superior genetics that they could start with. On the other hand, small-scale dairy farming uh, will also mean that the farmer will start with the animals that they have. A farmer should be able to carefully select which animals they are recruiting into the dairy uh, enterprise so that they can also maximize on their profits within a very short time. Now, we are going to uh, talk about how to succeed in dairy farming. And the first point we are talking about is starting small. And we are actually advising farmers that for you to be successful in dairy farming, you should not be over ambitious. Farmers who have heard about successful herds and uh, start with high ambition of getting to those levels normally fail. Farmers are advised to start with what they have, and that is why we are asking the we are urging the farmers to use the available resources. Farmers don't need to uh, go and get uh, superior animals uh, from very big herds. Farmers are advised to start with the herds or the animals that they own on the farm. Through that, they can uh, improve the animals because those animals have been bred uh, within the environment and they know more, much better about the animals. Through this, uh, farmers are also able to gauge and weigh their ability so that they are able to aim to the next level. Uh, farmers will also uh, be able to use the available resources such as land or animals if uh, they are inheriting from their parents or their grandparents 
and maximize on the available resources before thinking of uh, getting more resources uh, from outside. This will help the farmer to save on costs that will require will be required uh, when you're starting a new business or a new dairy farming enterprise. The other thing that the farmer should also uh, be able to know before they are successful is that they should attend trainings and these trainings can be uh, attend, uh, found through shows and also through other events and other forums. Farmers also are advised to visit other farmers where they can learn and share more information about uh, succeeding in dairy farming uh, business. Uh, it is important to know that the farmer doesn't need to invest huge capitals in uh, starting a dairy farm. What the farmer has should be a starting point to which they'll build on to a successful uh, dairy farming enterprise. We uh, expect that farmers who start small will be able to grow and uh, move to higher uh, heights when they consider proper management and the advice they get from uh, running a, a successful dairy uh, enterprise.